95.7 The Hog. It's Friday, and it's homegrown happy hour time. That's Guy. I'm Riggs. It's Riggs and Guy's Brew Review with Vinny from SFR. What's going on? Hey, Vinny. What's going on with you? Oh, it's Christmas time. It's yeah, Christmas it's on. good to have a life intimate. Just the thr- Holy Look at all the friggin' people in this room! Holy crap, where they where they all come from? Well, we sent out invitations. Yeah. Everyone, it's an invitation only. Did event. you invite them? Because I didn't. Well, it's a very special Christmas edition, and yeah, so you bring family in oh, okay. at, at the, during the holidays, and so we have our Florida beer family right yeah, here, we right? Do. These are all Florida and beer liquor. and liquor. Don't that's forget right. the liquor. Yeah, Everybody can right. clap. Come on. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, need. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Need I always gets. Yeah. Mead, mead always gets forgotten too, so we yeah. have mead as right. well. Right. So we have a little bit of everything. So now we're we're actually pretty excited. Um, throughout the year, we've had all these guys on, um, and now we decided to do a Christmas show, and we're going to split it up. Right, this Friday and yeah, Friday. this is. I feel like this is part one. This could go on for a long time. A long I hope, time. Do you guys bring a change of clothes? Yeah, you got everything all set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna be we're gonna be properly <laughs> hydrated. So we we got it all. I set. sleep we're naked. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm with you. All right. So. Uh, we Better did, have a big just, bed. <laughs> we decided to uh, bring all these guys back and gals back to go ahead and, and try the different beers. Love it. Um, they all brought some special stuff that you can e- you can either get or not get outside of the brewery. Okay. Uh, same with the liquor guys. They brought some cool stuff with them. Um, this is like our version of when Oprah gives away like a bunch of prizes, absolutely. like a car and you stuff. Get a beer. Right. You, you get, get a beer. You get some you liquor. You get some liquor. That's right. You get some meat. That's yeah, it. We're all good. That's You're right. Oprah. And I... Yeah, I guess I could. Be. <laughs> Wait, Whoa. yeah, but yeah, but he's at the fat stage. <laughs> All right, I will get even with you, you little. <laughs> the table has been set. Well, I hope you love the fat festive atmosphere we have. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Festive atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Anyways, let's get to the first yeah. beer yeah. before we kill each other. By the way, that's not a pinata filled with liquor either at the top. Oh, that's an actual that's solid an actual thing. Solid if it falls thing. on anybody, we're not covered by OSHA. So. All right. So that means the body goes into the dumpster. Just don't make any sudden moves. Oh, right. you already got a beer ready, yeah, Jeremy. What the ready. hell are we drinking? So we're I don't know. Now. I get to go first. Yeah, we uh, got like a Jeremy seconds. from Tampa Bay Brewery. Okay. Um, he brought a cool beer out here. Um, go ahead and roll with it. Yeah, we brought uh, Hop Silo. It's Ooh. our uh, series of beers that we do with uh, kind of collaboration beers with other breweries. Okay. Uh, here in Florida. I don't know if we've done any of with any of you guys yet. We should probably make that happen. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, could yeah. exchange some business cards. So, uh, this, this one's a milkshake IPA, passion fruit, guava, and mango in it. Okay. Um, it's it's juicy, man. It's give me nice. milk. Give me milkshake. What's a milkshake? And basically, IPA? what this has in it, it is it has lactose in it. Um, you're not gonna taste it in here. It really adds kind of a mouthfeel oh. to it. Like oh. a nice mouthfeel. I do it. have a question. Holy crap! Does it bring all the boys to the yard? Every day. It does. Yeah. <laughs> You should see when I pour this, man. They just all show up. <laughs> like all the neck beards are like, what, what? Can I wait in line? Oh. <laughs> I feel attacked. Where's my <laughs> Guy just accomplished no, the okay. first heist. <laughs> you shave underneath. You're good. Oh, look. Someone you left one. Yeah. Right. Look at that. You oh, it's an extra. Right. <laughs> you cold? Wow. I saw I you saw you po- social media post about this. Yeah. I did not expect this flavor to be in my mouth. This is really good. <laughs> That's what she it said. It's very good. good. Absolutely. It's very good. So well, we were actually just drinking this last night at the uh, Lopey Gopher. Gopher. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. We had a little meet with our group that we have, mm-hmm. and we went up there, and they have it on draft up there, and it's wow. uh, pretty delicious. Abby, still have it, or did you guys blow through it? Say yes. Oh, it's gone. It's yeah. gone? Okay. I got you. It's so. kicking pretty quick everywhere we put it. Um, so, yeah, if, you're, so, if you find it, grab some. Right. So the Hop Silo name, is that like a continuous name? Is that something? Yeah, it's like- always called Hop Silo. This okay. is like Hop Silo Series 1, 2, 3. Um, we're on 3. I believe the first one was a collaboration with uh, Cigar City. Okay. I think it was like an Imperial Pilsner or something. Um, this was a little bit before my time, so I don't really know. I just know because I saw it on the shelves at okay. one point. but. Um, we got more coming out soon. There's it's a quarterly release, so you'll see four of these a year. Is wow. what uh, is our goal to okay. get these out. Yeah, okay. If this is a taste of things to come, yeah, this was a hell of a way to start this off. Yeah, you know we're not. This a is great in this room, beer, but you're kicking everybody's ass right now. I'm just it's, saying it, it's not fair. It's it's whatever, only because I went first. Whatever can ha- anything else can happen, but that's very good. So what a surprise! All right, and then you'll have a, a hop style four coming out very soon, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Prick Collective will come out first, okay. uh, but then the hop style. What is it called? 
the Prick Collective. It's uh, <laughs> is that what we have in the room right now? <laughs> <laughs> that was the name of our show for a while. <laughs> okay. We went with the Morning Hog, but the Just Prick a, Collective a beer that we did with Collective Arts. Uh, it's a prickly pear Berliner Weiss. And, oh. uh, it'll be out next four weeks or so. Awesome. Hours. And you guys are located where in Tampa? Uh, Ybor City and uh, Oldsmar. And you have brew pubs down there, right? Two of them, yep. You can go down to visit and get some tastings and yep. everything else, right? Get some That's amazing cool. food. And you're pretty yep. much in all the Publixes now, That's Total Wines, ABC. We're in all Publix, all Total Wines, all ABC, <coughs> and more to come. Perfect. Yep. So we can find these in the Publix right now or uh, no, Total no, Wines? Total Wine no, does no. have them. Okay, and good. And Daytona Beach has them. Okay, good. Right now. Yeah. In the, awesome. But, in but the just box. like any good holiday gift... Limited supplies, go it's fast. It's going to go quick. Yep. Uh, we sold the first case at Total Wine in two days. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. The word is out. And now we're telling everybody else about it now. We're really cutting into our own beer availability, aren't we, Guy? This yeah. We should yeah. have told yeah, Unfortunately. We should have kept this under wraps. That's out there now. All right. Uh, Thank you, dude. All right. Nice start. All right. So, Vin- the, next up, we got uh, Mr. Vant. Hey, Vance. Vance. Hello. Hi, Vance. What's happening? Hey, you Welcome might want back. to raise that a little bit, Mr. Seven Foot. You know, bring yeah. it up a little bit. There you go. There you Get go. it all set. All right. So you guys are with Moonrise Brewing? Yep, and Palm Coast, the European Village. Okay. And uh, do you have a tasting room up there as we well? We do. We do. Um, this beer I brought today, the Dragon Fruit Sour, is only going to be available at the tasting room because of the souring process. It's pretty hard to mass produce. Um, it's kettle soured um, over two days, down to 3.4 pH with yogurt. We've got uh, two different kinds of dragon fruit in there. I use fresh stuff I chop up and boil, and it also has some um, Malaysian dragon fruit, which is kind of purple on the inside, which gives it its color that I use dried. It, um, it came out pretty good. I was planning this beer for like a year. It came out pretty good. I, I don't know if you know this, but this is my favorite beer from you guys. I, every time you show up, that's all you drink. <laughs> yeah, is it, I can see why. This. This is amazing. This is it's got delicious. It. You get the dragon fruit out yeah. of it. You like it, right? You like your sours? I have a feeling you brought these people in here to play with our emotions. I did. I wanted to get you up and down. Because Jeremy started off with a damn good IPA. Now we have a good sour. What are you going to do? I'm going to just wait in line and have people give me all their best. (laughs) (laughs) This is... This makes me want to... uh, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so first, <laughs> no, first it's, it, this is a really so, good one. You guys got to make it up to Moonrise. Absolutely. And Vance, you can, they can get beers uh, in growlers and, and stuff like that, we right? We sell growlers and kegs there yep. as well, yes. Um, and also, cool news for everybody. We should be getting some Wolf Bite Brown Ale from these guys. Yeah, it should be going uh, out next Hopefully week. by next week. And we got a few accounts that's going to go in in the market. Um, they, they can't produce a ton right now because they're taking care of their home market, uh, their home area. But we want to make sure we get it out there and you guys will see it. So check it out. We also just aged a uh, the Wolf Bite and one of Jeremy's from Copper Bottoms, uh, Gold Rum Barrels. It's phenomenal. Just went on tap yesterday. You know, that guy gets his barrels around. I'm telling <laughs> yeah. you, man. He's, he's got to be careful. You check yourself once in a while, make sure you're good. All right. So that's exciting. So that's released on Friday? Yeah, they're released on Friday. Our Mug Club members are drinking it right now. Okay. Friday night. So are they going to save us some or are they going to drink it all? There's a bunch, yeah. Okay. All right. We just want to make sure. So we're looking forward to that then. Thank you, that Vance, is, for coming on out. That is a course. tongue delight. So, it's like if you were to watch Game of Thrones during a dragon scene and lick your TV, it's better than that. Absolutely. And that would be something, you know? Which All right. Is. So next we've got Tracy from Big Storm. Hi, Tracy. Welcome back. How you doing? Welcome back, Tracy. Last time Tracy was here, he had about uh, 34 beers that we tried. <laughs> yeah. We went for the 99 on the wall thing. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, uh, wow. Believe it or not. That's for you. Believe oh, it or not, Tracy brought two different beers that we didn't get to try when really? we were out there. So, okay. Um, oh, actually, one beer. We have the Dunder and Blixum. The, Dunder uh, and Blixum. Winter. Oh. Yeah. This yeah. is our uh, Christmas offering. All right. Dunder and Blixum means thunder and lightning in Belgium. Oh, okay. So that's what we're... Uh, so this is going to be a strong ale. It's 8.8%. It's got a nice little uh, little bit of nutmeg to it. Just pass it around. So, okay, we'll just pass the can. This does taste like Christmas oh, in a cup. Right? It does. Wow. Man. Yes. Is it like Santa Claus, you know, had to have a check and he went into the bathroom and he's getting it done. He peed it out. This is what it's like. No, is this it? is what Santa Claus would want you to leave Rather right. than milk. Nobody yes. Right yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you're talking about Dunder and Blixum and cigars instead of milk and cookies. Yes. Well, yeah, wouldn't you want to be Santa? Yeah. yeah. All right. He I is would. Santa. Yeah. What are you talking about? Look at what him. You, hey. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was Oprah before. Now he's Santa. <laughs> Santa's younger. The whole gamut. Uh, I got the whole gamut going. <laughs> Santa's younger. So what's this the uh, ABV on this, Tracy? 8.8. Woo! Yeah. So it's really, a, it's a little boozy. It does not seem it. No, oh. we hit it well. Oh wow! Just no, that's good. Yeah. Spicy and flavorful. That's real man. nice. Wow! Um, you get 
Let me just get the so we can show you guys on the Happy G Damn Holidays right there. That's solid. Hey guys, don't forget to go to YouTube and check out Hog Brew Review uh, on 95.7. Oh yeah. Uh, check this out because we do have a lot of people in here. We have them all crammed in here. It's like putting a bunch of people in a phone booth. Yeah, there's no That's special effects being done right now. No. The digital Mike is not that good. He's not that good. He's good. <laughs> he can't, he's well, actually, good. he is that good, but these are all real flesh people. Absolutely. We can touch him. Watch. Let me touch. Or, yeah, or, or, or wait, <laughs> is there a robot in the mix? Yeah, yeah, that we talked about touching people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probation officer. You're in trouble. I am not on probation. Please don't <laughs> <laughs> strike that from the whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> don't, go- don't Google Vinny's mugshot. Don't do it. Uh, so, Trace, you guys are based out of? We're based out of Clearwater. We have a, <laughs> we have a, our main brewery in Clearwater, our first brewery in Odessa. We have a brewery in Cape Coral, and then we own Fat Point Brewing in Punta Gorda. Okay. So. And you guys are able to get Dunder and Blixum at ABC in total, correct? Totally. ABC total. Uh, some Win Dixies will have it. Okay. Uh, it's on tap around here a little bit, yep. up and down we the got, We brought like five kegs in for you. Yeah, yeah. So. so. Okay. So you find it around, and it's, it's going to be gone quick. It's, yeah, so make sure you come yeah, and get it, man. Good. Um, and, Trace, uh, great job out there with uh, bringing Big Storm back up to where they're going, and I appreciate all the hard work you're doing yeah. out there. So. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the good man. beer, man. Thank you. you. Got wow. it. Great beer. Great beer. All, all right. right. All right. Next, Our we've got festive. the twins. Oh. we got the before the twins. and after picture. That's what happens when, <laughs> before you get a brewery. That's what happens after you get a brewery. <laughs> wow, man. I don't even know what the effect is, really. <laughs> I can't tell them apart. Well, I've lost weight, but I've also lost hair and <laughs> then lost beard. Yeah. Yes. You gotta, you gotta, uh, get a weave like so me. Have, you'll love it. We have Andy and Robbie from Persimmon Hollow. Welcome back, boys. Thank Good to see you. you. Good, Good to, to see, see you again. What'd you guys bring? We'll pass this around. This is our uh, vacation wheat that Ooh. we have treated with blood orange. Okay. Um, so I vacation could smell wheat that. Vacation is one of our core oh. beers that we have out all the time. Uh, and then this is a special Ooh. beer we did just for the tap room. So we took the base beer. Uh, it's a 5% American wheat beer with a little bit of coriander. And then this got a ton of blood orange in it. Um, real nice, citrusy, spicy, a little bit sweet. Um, sweet is going to be the main character you're going to get out of this. And then you're going to get sort of a fresh bread note on the back end of it. That is a Very ton nice. of and blood orange. Uh, the base is called Vacation Wheat. Yes. Which you can get on draft, and oh, yeah. now thanks to you guys, get in an awesome package. Um, so yeah, it's out so, there. Total yeah, this wine. is in cans. Total Wine uh, ABC, starting to be picked up in ABCs, Publixes, um, Publixes, some Win Dixies. Yeah. Uh, if you go into a store and you see our other brands, and you don't see the Vacation Wheat Can. Make sure you ask for the yeah, Vacation yeah. Wheat Can. You want to see that in and there I, as well. I'm going to tell you. I think we talk about it all the time. The, the graphics you guys do are awesome. Kind of ties everything in. We don't um, have a whole lot to do with that. Guy, I know we you have guys. A just, you have a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah we guy. have an awesome guy who's actually from Deland. He's a world-renowned graphic designer, but he happens to be from Deland. Has a tattoo of the Volusia County Courthouse on his arm. He's an awesome guy. Um, he took the VW Vacation Wheat, <laughs> and we already had our Beach Chippy can that has a VW bus on it. So then the new can of this has a VW bug on the front of it with an orange and a roof rack. Um, kind of accentuates did, the citrus in the beer. Did you know that we had a thing for VWs? Because I didn't until we started. Well, I, yeah, because neither really? one of you drive a VW, really? right? Uh, easy, easy, because Robbie's about to cost me a lot of money with VWs. Oh, 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 oh And by I me, got, I mean us, but we're yeah. sort of we're, I get we're like you. that. What, are you guys uh, buying a VW? Yeah, we're bus? working on it. Nice. Stay ah, tuned. Do we see a bus in the future? Stay tuned. You never Maybe know what you might see. riding around? <laughs> you never know what you might so, see. But um, Where are you guys based out of now, exactly? We're in downtown Deland. Okay. Downtown Deland, 111 West Georgia Avenue in the uh, historic part of downtown Deland. And I can go there Love and get it. some delicious beer and some tours, correct? You're actually not allowed there, but everyone I'm not else. Everyone, oh, yes. everyone else. The people hearing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're on the do not serve list. I'm on the do not <laughs> serve list. I got you. you know, we have a 2,500 square foot tap room there, uh, always anywhere between 14 and 17 beers on tap. Okay. Um, so there are a lot more beers on tap there than you would actually see out in the market on draft or cans. Um, but a lot of fun, lots of fun to spend a day there. We're dog friendly, kid friendly, family friendly. Board games. You're everything always but Vinny friendly. We're everything but Vinny friendly. <laughs> well, do you correct. blame him? Uh, Although these lights are doing it for me. We might, <laughs> yeah. we might yeah. love that. Yeah. For you. yeah, Vinny, you need to wear the flashing Christmas lights all year long. It doesn't say. Oh. I mean, we, look at his cheekbones are just popping in here, right? Yeah. We Mark, also, you can see my cheekbones? <laughs> well, <laughs> Mike, Vinny, you're Mike, glowing. Mike did the special effects. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of feel like uh, that guy, the people that all have dated the same girl, we've also used one of Jeremy's barrels with a beer. Oh, um, yeah. Copper bottom. 
uh, that beer will be coming out. We put out a little bit of it at our anniversary party, but we're planning some events with Jeremy. So after the first of the year, be paying attention to our social media. We're going to do some events in the Daytona area to highlight Copper Bottoms Rum and our beer. Okay. Um, it's a beer that we did. It's our stout. Funky Freddy Fitz is our stout, aged in a rum barrel. Um, it's really fun. The the guy Freddy Fitz that the beer is named for. His brother was actually a rum runner. Ran rum for the poker games in Daytona during Prohibition. So it's oh. sort of fun that we got that beer in one yeah. of his barrels. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think that was the first barrel off the line, so all these other barrels are uh, seconds to ours. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you were absolutely the first. Yes. We, yeah. we got the first yeah. barrel out of that so everybody building. everybody else is sloppy seconds. Well, we just let it sit long. <laughs> it took a long time to it, get it out, though. Would it, yeah, yeah. No, right? <laughs> would it be fair to call Jeremy the Jenna Jameson of uh, liquor? Yes, I would say. Yes. Right? Listen, it's been around. At least it's not Stormy <laughs> Daniels. I'll, be, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> yeah. Although, yeah. big storm, you guys combine it. We got a, <laughs> yeah, we got a copper storm. Yeah. Ah, we uh, okay. Think hey, thank you, right. thank, thank you so much for that, that beer. You guys, delicious yeah. orange attack. That's yeah. really tasty. You guys, yeah. everyone is continuing to knock it out of the park, which yeah. I'm appreciating. Yeah. Absolutely, right? Yeah. All, All right. delicious. Thanks. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, all right, so we had some beer. So you know what we need to do? We need what? to change it up on our pal a little bit, and we're going to do some liquor. Boom. All right. What's, what are we doing again? We're doing liquor. Okay, cool. Just want to check. <laughs> Make sure. All right. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Ed knows. It's like a small shot. All right. What do we got here? All right. Small shot here. Who do we have and what do we have? All right. It's Tom from uh, Sugarworks Distillery. Oh, I, hey, Tom. I actually I know brought you're... back the Catalisa Creek specifically for guys. Oh, nice. yeah. Thank nice. you so yeah. much. I told you I like the whiskey. Yeah, that's the right that's a, thing to do. Absolutely. Bring the whiskey in, get it for Guy, get him on his good side. Which you know, is your good side, Guy? Come over here and see. We had <laughs> we had our company party <laughs> earlier this week, Tom, <laughs> and uh, many, many people were offering Guy shots of liquor, and he refused them, waiting just for this. He shunned all of them. Shunned everything. Just for you. Absolutely. That's, and that, that is a true story. It's not like I'm making that up. No. He really did that. Like, I no. saw the videos. So. Yeah. I well, it's because our it company up. wouldn't pay right. for the liquor. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but they had a policy. I understand. You know, it's fair enough. So, yeah. you, uh, Tom, you guys that, are out of? That is smooth. Smyrna Beach, and this is a 21% rye. Okay. Um, it's a bourbon, and uh, enjoy. It's NS- very smooth. NSB And you finest. guys are up and running. I know we talked about it last week, but just to remind all the folks. You guys are up and running? Yes, we are. And you have a sampling room. You can go in and try some samples? We d- yes. Yep. And uh, we'd encourage anybody to come by. Happy to show you how we make the uh, products and talk about these as well as some of the other experimentals we've been playing around with. Okay. Very good. I talked to uh, one of our buddies in uh, Edgewater that said they they heard the Sugar Works. Uh, yeah. They heard our Sugar Works Oh, episode. did they really? Yeah. They were awesome. very excited. They were like, we knew him. Yeah, we know him. Yeah. He's all set. Yeah. Tom's very quiet. He's got that stoic face. See the face? Yeah. Can you zoom in on Tom's face? <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell if he's happy yeah. or not happy or what's going on. He looks really happy right now. Tom, your background yes. is an engineer, right? Eh? I'm an architect. You're an architect. Oh, that's, that's so, why right there. Yeah. He's Art No. He's Art Vandalay. No. <laughs> no. He always looks happy because he's carrying around whiskey. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. It's true. We're the ones that do buildings. Oh, oh. oh. Buildings. <laughs> okay. I was going back to the Jenna Jameson architect thing. That was a whole... <laughs> Erect hey, rigs, that's rigs. That's that's, that's a different kind of erection. <laughs> Thank and also, you, you talk about you. the time that she did the London Bridge. Radio edit. Mm. <laughs> right. There's going to be a lot. Google everything you hear in today's episode. You'll be happy later, or you'll the FBI will be at your house. Yeah, surely. Your browser history will languish. That's wow, that's smooth. awesome. Like that's really that good. is very yeah. smooth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like yeah, so yeah. where can we get bottles of that other than your distillery? So we just went into distribution uh, last week. So we're in uh, Kenny's Liquors. We're in uh, several of the restaurants in New Smyrna Beach and Sunshine Liquor over on Ridgewood. Yep. 
we're starting to get them into it's a little bit more of a process uh, as 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 yeah. Jeremy knows yeah. trying to get into Total Wine ABCs and some of the other ones so it'll be a little bit longer before we get in there but the local guys will be picking up and going and if you if you you know go to Kenny's pick it up out there you can go mm-hmm. to Sunshine Certainly if not to pop shop. out to them and yeah. go see them and and support them as well so um, it all kind uh, kind of comes around um, and you have a partner as well right I do yeah. uh, Mike is my partner Mike Gardner and we're both actually architects by uh, trade and by design. By design. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, <laughs> so, I heard yeah. we're getting a new rep next year. <laughs> By design? Yeah. <laughs> but I tell you, down, down on the Edgewater uh, New Sparta side, uh, Digital Mike and I are both, we live down that way. So the first one of you who wants to come down there, we're taking you over to Sugar Works. All right, sounds good. And Mike's driving. And and all us uh, breweries need uh, barrels, too. So uh, oh. when you start oh. barrel aging, we I've got all wanna... of four barrels. We'll, like, we'll uh. buy some more and we'll, uh, we'll do some fun. <laughs> yeah. Now that is the yeah. Stormy Daniels of yeah, barrels right there. Jeremy, you're going to be you know, sharing breweries. I don't know about that. Just make sure you're all good. Um, hey, gonna, Tom, I think there was something last week you said you wanted to talk about, gangbang. and you missed. Um, about the IPA that we were that be, working yeah, on? Go ahead, yes. Um, go ahead, Tom. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we covered that. Um, uh, we did do a dub, or distilled a double IPA last week, mm-hmm. which is really interesting. Yeah. And I didn't bring it in with me just because I didn't have time to proof it. But any of you want to try it, come by the distillery. Oh, okay. Happy oh, to let you uh, get a taste. So, it's, so you basically took a double IPA and distilled it down to a liquor? We did. Okay. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put that in some small barrels, age it, and see what happens with it. Okay. It's it's pretty interesting. Okay, cool. Um, you want me to put awesome. that at my house? I can store that if you like. <laughs> I yeah, mean, he's I got right up the road. Yeah, I can really swing by. Yeah, absolutely. So the angel share is going to be significant on this one. <laughs> I feel like it could just drift. You know, you know how it. You know the process. I don't know. All right, just well, offering myself. Tom, thank you very much again. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate it. Make sure everybody gets out to Sugar Works out in New Smyrna. Um, I think since we he did just... some, we did some beer, we did some liquor. Why don't we do the forgotten product? And we can do beer me. No, me. No, I, was I, was hoping, I was hoping that's what that was. He just made a big mistake. He left the whiskey right next to me. Uh, 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 you know was, what's really that good with that whiskey? Mistake. Mead. Uh, okay. yeah. So we've got Anne Marie and Blair, uh, both from Odd Elixir. Um, you guys are out of. We are uh, downtown to land. We're about a block from Persimmon Hollow. So when you come visit them, come by and see us afterwards. Welcome back. Okay. And what did you bring today? Um, so today we brought one of our 12 Days of Christmas uh, releases. This is our day four release, which is a blackberry mead. And then for any of those in the room that are uh, a little more daring, I also brought our uh, our standard Christmas release, which is Ugly Sweater, mm-hmm. which is a habanero mead. Bro. Bring no, it. So. Didn't you guys do a ghost pepper <laughs> mead where you had to sign a contract? We did. I told <laughs> growers we did. Um, it was a terrible idea. It was a fantastic <laughs> idea. You shush. It hurt, it hurt me to the inside. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'm going to assume it's that Andy is not going to try our Which, which one is this that you're passing around this now? This is the ugly sweater. The bottle is the ugly sweater. Um, so it's a habanero mead. Uh, it's very spicy. We don't uh, we don't play when it comes to the spice. All right. Um, this is part of our Ugly Sweater gift pack that we're doing this year for uh, Christmas. Uh, we actually put together a, a gift pack of all three of the spicy meads that we do year-round. And where can we get that? Uh, at Abbey, right downtown okay. uh, DeLand. Um, and I can get that to Barn. go as well, correct? Yes, 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 absolutely. So i got a question for you. I see a jar in there. So I see three bottles in a jar. So oh, what sorry. is the jar? It. The, jar is, uh, the jar is cowboy candy. So it's a, it's a sugar-glazed jalapenos. It is something that we make in-house um, um at Abbey, uh, okay. Obelixir is located inside of Abbey, and it's something we make in house there. So that's included in our uh, holiday gift pack this year. Okay. They also brought some. What do you call this? Cowboy candy. Yep. They brought some of this, and I've been munching on this, and everyone needs to pass it around. This is amazing. That's delicious. That stuff's uh, that. addicting. A little sugar, hal- sugar glazed jalapenos yeah. poured over some cream cheese. Mm. So you just mentioned the 12 days of Christmas mead. Uh, what is that about? Uh, so starting um, on Monday the 10th, we released our first one, Partridge in a Pear Tree, and then every day between now or between then and the, the 21st, we'll be releasing a new flavor. 
okay. um, that goes along with the with the song that everyone loves so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the one we're trying today is uh, Four Calling Birds. It is our blackberry. Um, That's delicious, by the way. Day four. And I did have the three turtle doves yesterday. Was <laughs> no, that you yesterday? had two turtle doves two, yesterday. Whatever it is, I drank so much of it, I don't remember how many there were. But um, that is actually delicious as well, guys. So yeah, you know, if you don't know what a mead is, mead is a? Uh, mead is, in the simplest terms, it is the product of uh, the fermentation of honey. Okay. So that's why sometimes mead gets forgotten. Uh, we talk about beer. We talk about spirits. But mead is probably the oldest form of alcohol um, that they, they found if they Absolutely, dated all the way back. Yep. So That first one was quite spicy. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, cleansing the palate, that's if delicious. you will. That's delicious, that blackberry. Yeah. It's a uh, nice compliment. Yeah. Oh, we got people wow. in the room yelling and hollering about the first one. <laughs> we haven't even got the last one in and hollering about the first right. one. Um, I think that was a song. Wasn't that a George Thurgood song? Um, yeah. Yeah, one scotch, one bourbon, we beer you. Yeah, well, and, then, and one scotch. ugly sweater should be yeah, on there. Right, and yeah, then he breathed it. fire and burnt down a building. Oh, I've been hearing it wrong. You're, you're, you're the one who said you like spicy things, oh, That's so. fantastic, though, because it's a perfect uh, antithesis dare. of the sweet. <laughs> Holy mackerel, you guys I, went through that satchel. You want to see that word? Antithesis. 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 Did you say satchel? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, the satchel. Right? Isn't that a satchel? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Is that a satchel? Bag. Bag. It's also the guitar player for Steel Panther. Am I? No? That's what he looks like. Just so we all know, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part about this is everybody was born. Yeah, that's true. We, we were born for other people. Mm-hmm. I may have drank a pint of it last night. Oh, oh. All right, so, wow! So I don't want to know what happened this morning. Uh, <laughs> so once again, guys, Odd Elixir is uh, downtown the land, uh, located at the Abbey. They do have a sampling there. They're, all of their meads are on tap. There are a few accounts out there that have mead. Um, we're working on switching things over, so you'll see it out a little bit more. Uh, so make sure you make your way down there and see Amory and Blair. And we also have one of Jeremy's barrels. Uh, yes, see, I'm that'll telling be, you, that'll Jeremy be released gets around. <laughs> that'll be released during beer week. <laughs> if Jeremy comes into your brewery, make sure that you know you're careful, all right? Because he knows how to get in there. So. <laughs> but that barrel uh, aged meat is actually going to be released during Volusia Beer Week, uh, which is going to be. Uh, in uh, the, really the second week of February, uh, we've got uh, Volusia Beer Week ends with the Landcraft Beer Festival, and it starts uh, which with is, uh, on February 9th. Uh, the meat itself is actually going to be released at uh, Brews and Bow Ties, which is a, uh, a special beer and food pairing. Uh, which will be the Wednesday of that week, which Thursday. Will, or sorry, Thursday, Thursday of that February week, 7th. which is uh, February seventh, and the the week actually starts off with a uh, bus tour of uh, local breweries, so you get to visit a lot of these folks, um, starting into land and ending into land. So it's a, a lot of fun. So so just realize, guys, everybody's in this room. Uh, they're going to be participating in Volusia Beer Week. We're going to be doing a bunch of different. Um, Things around uh, Volusia and Flagler area to su- to support and keep Volusia beer. We and yeah, we're doing something down there too, aren't we? With them. No, but I just wanted to say. You that. just wanted to throw it in there. <laughs> well, Greg is going to come. Greg is going to come. Volusia. Greg's going to come up from Sanford and do some uh, stuff up here and kind of show everybody how he how he likes Greg Volusia. Greg will be participating in, in brews and bow ties, so we're, yes. we're including our uh, absolutely. Our, and our, our we're starting with a bus trip, correct? Correct. On that Saturday before, and we're going to release. The hog yes. zombie mead. Is, the it's hog happening? fish zombie mead. Yep. Hog fish <laughs> okay. zombie mead. It's I didn't see that coming. I thought you were going to say doves. <laughs> yeah, for real. I was from serious. His from his well, butt. From my butt. Yeah, I've done that once. It is not pretty. It took an hour to get That the is not a dove. No, it took me an hour to get all the feathers out. Okay. All right. Um, so know how got there. we're going to be. We don't want to know. Trust me, it was a plastic. Don't I wouldn't even. Never mind. So we get. Um, <laughs> a funnel was involved. <laughs> <laughs> a funnel. An elf and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so, but we're gonna actually going to be releasing. They're working on the recipe right now nice. for you guys. Uh, I, I think um, the direction we're headed uh, is a mango habanero oh. hibiscus. So, uh, hear those words? Okay. It, it should, yeah. be, should be fun. All right. Ready. So um, let's look ready. forward to that as well. So thanks for bringing that up, Blair. Ready Appreciate it. Um, and all the hard work that goes into that uh, Volusia Beer Week and, and the festival.